Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. 2024 has been one of the most exciting and unpredictable years for space exploration. We've seen a mix of huge successes and major setbacks. On one side, we have SpaceX's Starship, which has been a massive success. On the other side, there's Boeing Starliner, which has had a pretty rough time. But right in the middle of all this is the Dream Chaser, a spacecraft that's been on a wild ride, making it hard to decide if it's a total win or a big flop. In this video, we're going to dive into the ups and downs of the Dream Chaser project and explore what's been happening recently. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates on Starship and other cool space news. So, let's get into it. The Dream Chaser project started way back in 2004 under Sierra Nevada Corporation. What makes Dream Chaser special is that it's designed to be a reusable space plane. Unlike other spacecraft, Dream Chaser was built to land on regular runways, which got a lot of people excited about it. In 2010, NASA gave Dream Chaser a contract through its commercial crew development program. This was a big deal because it meant Dream Chaser could work on developing a spacecraft that could carry both cargo and astronauts to the International Space Station, or ISS. Then, in 2016, NASA awarded Dream Chaser a $2.6 billion contract for its Commercial Resupply Services II program. This meant Dream Chaser would deliver supplies to the ISS. Dream Chaser's unique ability to land on runways and transport cargo and astronauts made it stand out from other spacecraft like SpaceX's Dragon and Boeing Starliner. But Dream Chaser's path hasn't been smooth sailing. From the start, Dream Chaser faced several challenges. Developing its thermal protection system and meeting safety standards took longer than expected. Even though Dream Chaser completed several successful tests, including glide tests and environmental tests at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility, progress was slower than planned. Recently, Dream Chaser faced another big challenge. Sierra Space had to delay Dream Chaser's integration with United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket. This pushed the launch date from 2023 to a possible window in 2025. This delay has caused some doubts about the future of the Dream Chaser project, even among its biggest supporters. In May, Dream Chaser's uncrewed spaceplane, named Tenacity, arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This was a huge milestone as it brought the spacecraft closer to its first flight to the ISS. At the Kennedy Space Center, there were still some last-minute preparations to complete, including acoustic and electromagnetic interference tests, finishing the thermal protection system, and integrating the final payload. Despite all this preparation, there was another setback. Sierra Space identified significant risks that could prevent meeting the mid-year flight date. As a result, United Launch Alliance decided to launch a mass simulator instead of waiting for Dream Chaser to be ready. This decision was important for ULA's Vulcan rocket certification which requires two flight tests to qualify for future missions. ULA's Vulcan rocket is very busy. If Vulcan gets certified after the September launch, ULA plans to launch two Space Force missions before the end of the year. This tight schedule and limited Vulcan hardware could delay Dream Chaser's next chance to fly. Since each Vulcan rocket is used only once, new rockets need to be built for each mission. The second Vulcan rocket has just arrived at Cape Canaveral, but it looks like Dream Chaser might not be included in the next few launches. Even with these challenges, Dream Chaser has made progress. It completed rigorous environmental tests and was shipped to Florida for the final pre-launch tests. Dream Chaser can carry up to 7,800 pounds of cargo to the ISS and bring back 3,500 pounds to Earth. It also has a shooting star module that can burn up up to 8,500 pounds of trash during re-entry. When we look at how other companies are doing, it's clear that SpaceX has been meeting its goals. NASA chose SpaceX, Boeing, and Sierra Nevada's Dream Chaser for its commercial crew program. SpaceX received $2.6 billion and Boeing received $4.2 billion for their projects. Under Elon Musk's leadership, SpaceX developed the Crew Dragon spacecraft. 
Since its first crewed flight in May 2020, Crew Dragon has successfully transported astronauts to the ISS multiple times. SpaceX's ability to meet deadlines and NASA's standards has set a high bar for the industry. Boeing Starliner, on the other hand, has faced many problems. Despite getting the most money from NASA, Boeing struggled with technical issues. The first uncrewed test flight in December 2019 had software problems that kept Starliner from reaching the ISS. This failure caused a lot of delays. Boeing's second uncrewed test flight in May 2022 was successful, but the delays and issues have been a big criticism, especially given the large budget. The delays have also meant that astronauts had to stay longer on the ISS or use SpaceX's Crew Dragon for transportation. Recently, Boeing faced more problems with Starliner's first crewed mission, which launched on June 5, 2024. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and SUNY Williams flew in Starliner, and the mission started off well. Starliner reached orbit and docked with the ISS on June 6. However, after docking, Starliner ran into more issues, including helium leaks and thruster malfunctions. This forced NASA and Boeing to delay the return of the astronauts. Originally set for June 25, the return has been pushed back to early July with no exact date yet. These problems have created a lot of uncertainty for the future of Starliner. Some experts are now suggesting that NASA should reconsider its contracts with Boeing and even Dream Chaser. They worry that relying only on SpaceX's Crew Dragon might create a monopoly. NASA initially picked multiple companies to avoid this situation and to have backup options. So, that's the latest on Dream Chaser, Starship, and Starliner. 2024 has shown us a mix of success and setbacks in the world of space exploration. While Dream Chaser's future remains uncertain, SpaceX's Crew Dragon has been a standout success, and Boeing's Starliner continues to face challenges. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep up with more space news, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.